Hello and welcome to an extra special episode of Scotland Shop on the Sofa. This week we are putting the Tartan team's St Andrew's Day knowledge to the test. I'm going to ask the team a selection of statements and it's up to them to decide whether they think it's true or false. Wish them luck and play along at home and don't forget to comment your score below. So our first true or false is St Andrew's Day is celebrated on the 25th of November. Is that true or is it false? It's lighter. Yeah. Lighter. Yeah. False. False. Do you know when it was celebrated or is celebrated? 20th. 30th. Good job, Chris. It's false. It is actually celebrated on the 30th of November. We celebrate on the 30th of November because it's the anniversary of his death. Uh, our second true or false is St Andrew is the patron saint of Scotland, Romania, Greece, Russia, Ukraine and Poland. True or false? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'm glad I invited you guys. Uh, right, I, I've, I'm not 100% on this, but he's he's not from Scotland. He is from like somewhere in yes. that kind of way. So I'm going to say true just as a punt on that, I think. Yeah, yeah. Have I tricked yeah. you or have I? Go on then, go on then. True. I'm going to say true as well. True? Wow, you are good at this. True. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. It may surprise you to learn that St Andrews is the patron saint of all those countries, but arguably most recognised as the patron saint of Scotland. And Tenerife. And Tenerife? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Yeah, there you go. I think I'll get a bonus point. Tenerife was one of Jesus' 12 disciples. True or false? True. I'm going to say false. I got oh, I know the answer to that one. That's Don't cheat, one. Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> You are against each other. <laughs> that one, that one, I could do. True. Oh. According to Christianity, Andrew was one of Jesus' 12 disciples along with his brother. Bonus points if you know his brother's name. Oh, I have no idea. Simon? Come on, John. James? No. Simon Peter. Good job. That's a wow. I'm very impressed. That's an extra bonus point for you. <laughs> Andrew was a skilled butcher. True or false? Lauren knows the answer to this one. <laughs> she doesn't want to give it to John. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm sitting here waiting. <laughs> Three, two... Uh, uh... False. I think that's false. False, he was actually uh. a fisherman, along with his brother in Galilee. St Andrews was the patron saint of Scotland since 1240. True or false? Oh, we're divided again. God. You need to get it right. I don't know. It, that's true, you put up. Oh, do you want it false? Is it troll? <laughs> true. I'm, I'm going to say true. False. It was... I literally have not. I have no clue. This I, is a 50-50. I couldn't yeah. even take a guess at that. Like... I, it's about then, but... Ooh. I'm going to go with... I'm yeah. false. So it is false. Oh. Yes! He has actually been a patron saint of Scotland since 1320. Ah. It's a little bit more recent. St Andrew visited Scotland when he was 25 years old and explored the Highlands. True or false? Again, I have no clue. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going to say, I'm going to go false. false. You're, you're, you're saying true. true. <laughs> it is, <laughs> right? It's because it's false to me. <laughs> Both of you are correct, it's false. St Andrew has never actually visited Scotland during his lifetime, but his kneecap, arm, finger bone did arrive in Scotland, among other relics, after his death. The reason the Scottish flag features a cross is because of St Andrew's. True no, or false? That's true. 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 Oh, I didn't know if you were going to go false there, I was a bit worried. <laughs> Do I change your mind? <laughs> I always assume that it's that, but... Say. You're going to be different than John or agree with John? I'm going to go. Different. So John is correct, it yeah. is true. Like most of Jesus' disciples, Andrew was crucified. He requested his cross be turned on its side to form an X, as Andrew believed he didn't deserve to die the same way as Jesus on the traditional T-shaped cross. He was crucified on the 30th of November 60 AD and the Scottish flag uses a slanted cross on the national flag, also known as the... Celtic! Yeah. 
Do we know why he was crucified? Just because he was one of Just because he was one of Jesus' disciples. Yeah. St Andrew's Day is also celebrated across the world, including Canada and the USA. True or false? Oh, yes. That's an easy one. A very easy one. Should have started with that one, maybe. True. True. Get up. <laughs> there are St Andrew's Day societies across the globe that help people celebrate the Scottish patron saint, as well as hosting many events throughout the year to keep Scottish heritage alive. Hooray. Hooray. And even in Singapore as well, we've recently reached out to a Singapore group, which is pretty good. Cool. True or false, you are only allowed to eat haggis on St Andrew's Day. Mm, false. False. Simple. I mean, 365 days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. While we recommend incorporating haggis onto your St Andrew's Day tradition, there is no rule that says you can only eat haggis. Could you imagine having haggis for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? And snacks? <laughs> I'd rather not. Yeah. Could... No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got two choices. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which one do you want to choose? Which one do you want to choose? Which one do you we hope you enjoyed learning more about St Andrew's Day. Remember to check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, email newsletter and social media to stay up to date on all our clan content.